Hey guys, so if you're a huge football fan and you've probably wondered what is the difference between an authentic and a replica jersey and you've probably seen reviews about people talking about Nike, Adidas and Puma shirts but Kappa is another big player in the game and not a lot of videos have been done about that with Napoli being Kappa's biggest team I thought it was fitting to do a video about the difference between an authentic and replica Napoli jersey now obviously the authentic jersey will be Napoli's fourth special kit the one in honor of Diego Armando Maradona and Argentina with the white and blue stripes and stick around until the end of the video to see the behind the scenes of me going to collect that kit and how that kit is made. And because I'm feeling a little bit generous and because I'm sure that some of you are diehard fans that also want to wear more than just a t-shirt, I will also be reviewing this jumper here and Kappa's official windbreaker. So without further ado, let's get my modeling career started. All right guys, so this is how the Napoli fourth special kit fits. As you can see, it is extremely tight, but don't worry if you ate a little too much over Christmas, you will still be able to fit in this. And it's because it is extremely stretchy and on the sides, it's got a little opening so that the shirt follows the movements of your body. And I've worn a lot of Nike, Adidas, Puma, and I must say that this Kappa jersey feels the most technologically advanced however it is the tightest of them all it should also be pointed out that it fits quite long so for me personally i just roll it up a little bit but it's completely fine guys this is the fit of napoli's third jersey as you can see it is a lot more relaxed however it is still very very nice to wear I usually wear this when I watch games on the couch. It is so much more comfortable to be in this shirt than in the other one. However, if I was playing an official game, I would definitely recommend wearing the authentic shirt. This one is not as breathable. It doesn't have any of the holes that the other shirt has. And you can definitely feel that it is a bit heavier than the other one. This one will make you sweat a lot more and the sweat will just stay on the shirt. It will not try to expel it and also your body temperature will not be dispersed as much as on the authentic shirt. Now this one, as you move around in it, it attaches to different parts of your body a bit differently. It doesn't follow your whole torso like the authentic shirt. So you could say that in a match setting, this one is a lot less performant. Guys, this is the training sweater and it is one of my favorite items that I have just in general. And I really like it for so many reasons. This sweater keeps me extremely warm. However, it is still breathable because of the holes that it has. And it has these openings on the thumb, which if you're going out for a run are extremely useful because the shirt doesn't roll up. Another aspect that I really like about it is that it's not too loose and it's not too tight. For me, at least, it fits perfectly. And another thing about it is that I think it has a lot of style when, when you turn backwards, it has this elastic at the back. I think it gives it a little something and it makes sure that at the bottom, it fits really nicely instead of just being loose or straight. And finally guys, what I'm wearing right now is the windbreaker and it is extremely useful if you live in a country where it rains a lot, where it's windy over the winter because this keeps you nice and warm and protects you against all those outside elements. And it has so many features about it and it is so clean. First off though, the color itself is extremely nice. It's very different from the classic Napoli blue color. It's got a little hint of purple on it. And I just find that it's extremely, extremely nice. Now, some of the best features about this product are its zip that goes easily all the way up and obviously all the way down. At the bottom, it's got a draw cord elastic so you can tighten it and it fits super nicely. Not too tight that you can't do your activities, not too loose that it's gonna get stuck anywhere but the nicest thing about this is that if you don't need a hoodie you keep it tucked away like this if you do need a hoodie because it starts pouring rain all you have to do 
Let's open this up like so. And voila. Now guys, as promised, there's going to be a behind the scenes of how I picked up that white and blue authentic Napoli shirt and how they pressed the Maradona number 10 on it. But before moving on to that, let me just say, if you've liked the video, then go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to more Napoli Talk because we cover everything about Napoli.